So this video is all about a ledge on one of the cooling mountains in Skye called Collie's Ledge. And it's a fantastic place and many of us, me included, get butterflies. Well I certainly do get butterflies in my stomach in a good way when I uh, think about Collie's Ledge. And I did a video last year uh, on my holiday to Skye. I was over in Skye for a few days and did lots of fantastic adventures. It really was a fantastic, fantastic trip. I'll put a link to the, the video somewhere up here. But anyway, on one of the videos I went along Collie's Ledge and I got so many questions about it. I thought I'd just do a specific video just, well, mainly on Collie's Ledge. So that's what this one's all about. Now, I've added as much footage of my traverse along the ledge as I possibly could. So please be aware there is quite a bit of head cam footage later on in the in the video. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, here's me. I, I left from the Glen Brittle campsite, so yeah, I'll cut to me heading up the path towards the, the Coolin Ridge and yeah, heading towards Collie's Ledge. Hope you enjoy the video. So I headed up the path into Coyer Lagan and high above me in the Coolin was where Collie's Ledge was sitting, just underneath Scrum McConaughey. And you can see it here on the left hand side of the picture. And this is the Great Stone Chute, which, well, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Check out my last video for it. And on this day, I went up the highest point in the Coolin Ridge to start off with. I went up Scour Alistair, which is at a height of 993 metres. And, and what a viewpoint it is. But if you're going up just to do. Collie's Ledge, you don't really need to go all the way up to Scour Alistair because you do then have to descend back down into the Great Stone Chute to head up and across towards Collie's Ledge. And the secret really is uh, finding Bielich McConaugh and it's a Bielich just to the side of Scour McConaugh and if you can find this part of the, of the ridge you're on the right track and there's a section just over here to the right. You can see it's a bit worn, a bit lighter grey, where many, many boots have uh, tread across it. And that's where you're headed for. And this is probably the hardest point on the, the whole day. Just a wee bit of easy scrambling here to get up onto Collie's Ledge. A few steep steps. So once you make those few moves and yeah, it's not too much of a scramble, it's only a couple of metres, you, you head to the left and you're, you can't really miss it, you're virtually on, yeah, on Collie's Ledge itself and it's just a spectacular location. The views really are special. You can see the inpin on, on Skur Gerarg ahead of you just popping up on the skyline as you head along the ledge here. It really is, just yeah, you need to experience it, it's lovely. It's bringing a smile to my face as I talk about it. I must also note at this point, you'll notice I've not got a helmet on, and that's because I was using the the helmet with my camera on it to capture that footage. It's not to be recommended. Always wear a helmet here because there is a route directly above this and stones may fall down on top of you, so always wear a helmet. You can probably see from the footage it really is just a ledge and in places it is only maybe a foot wide 
and you do have to be careful. Now, in, in, in this video, as you can see, it's perfectly nice sunny conditions, but don't be fooled if you're up here and the weather's not so nice, or maybe even if you're up here in early spring or in the winter and the, the ledge is banked out with snow, this would be a rather different proposition. So don't, don't go up there expecting to have the same conditions as what I had here today. There are a few points where you do have to get your hands on the rock, just easy, easy, grade one scrambling. And if, it, if it's wet, do be careful of the basalt dikes that run through the gabbro, and if there's any bits of basalt, it, it, they get very, very slippy in the wet, as opposed to that nice grippy gabbro, which is uh, which is super good in, in wet or dry conditions, so you do have to be careful. It's not a place to trip and fall, that's for sure. After a few hundred metres of delightful walking along the ledge, yeah, you reach the end of the ledge and back onto the ridge main. And at this point in the day, I was heading up Skur McConaugh, and you can see Skur McConaugh on the right hand side here. And also the point just underneath that blue icon where I was at this point, you have to double back on yourself to get up to the summit of this Munro. And it's well worth visiting Skur McConaugh because it's a lovely airy traverse as well, very exposed. And as you can see it does double back and at this point here we're directly above Collie's Ledge and you can just see if I was up here and knocked a few stones down inadvertently and you were unlucky enough to be below me on Collie's Ledge it would be yeah it would be beneficial to have a helmet. You can see why I was uh, suggesting that you keep your helmet on at all time. Anyway, I was soon reaching the summit of Skurmaconic, and if you want to hear a bit more about why it's called Skurmaconic, check out the uh, the video I did last year. But it really is a fantastic, fantastic viewpoint. As are all the, the mountains on the Coulomb. It's a it's a nice wee scramble to the top of it as well. So I got up there and I sat for a while and just enjoyed those fabulous views. It's a rather grand place as you can see, just absolutely brilliant and, and from this point you can see the rest of the ridge stretching on beyond where you're, where you're sat and if you're doing the traverse you can see all the peaks just popping out onto the horizon that you still have to do. What a place, fantastic. So that was that, I didn't really put any of the descent in because that's all in the videos last year but yeah all that was left to do now is head back down to the car and head back home. It's just a fantastic place to go and if you've got a head for heights and you're good at navigation then I can thoroughly recommend a traverse along Collie's Ledge. You won't regret it.